What if the game type that you envision for your modded map isn't a melee map and it isn't a 1v1 affair? Rather, not even a free-for-all affair. What if instead the thing that you had people fighting for and over and against was a mutual enemy and you had them explicitly work together? Well, that explicit cooperation is put on full display in autocast tests over here by Durbo. What's interesting about autocast tests is that it takes a formula that's very familiar to fans of World of Warcraft and perhaps even Dungeons and Dragons. You are assembling a five-man band of sorts. You have a tank, an off-tank, two DPS characters, and a healer with which to go through a dungeon uh, over which you can fight not one, but at this point, two separate bosses. The tank can't do it alone. While he can take an incredible amount of damage, his own damage output is quite middling. He's going to need, and he's not invulnerable, so he's going to need the heals of the priest to keep him alive for a while. But neither then the healer nor the tank can deal much damage, and eventually the priest's mana will run out. There too we add in the role of the DPS characters, two of them, with each of which, with their own abilities, that can be used to augment the damage that's done throughout the fight. It's clear that they are not meant to tank very many hits, in fact their mechanics make it with, in combination with their health make it quite explicitly clear that they're not meant to take hits. And then finally rounding out the 5 band band, we have the off-tank. The tank can't tank all the time. Some boss cast abilities or debuffs that make it difficult for the tank to do its job. And, in addition to that, it might be nice to have a secondary tank that also does a bit more damage and can sponge in the requirement that the main tank can't do or won't do their job. This is the explicit cooperation of Derpa's auto-cast tests. And the bosses that he envisions inside of Autocast Tests explicitly and wonderfully bring out this cooperation amongst all the players. For if the tank and healer go off on their own as a two-man duo or two-person duo, they won't be able to do sufficient damage to the boss before the priest's heals run out. If the off-tank and tank are not properly synergized, then damage can't be allocated between both of them in such a way that both survive. If the DPS characters aren't doing what they're supposed to do, or are unable to dodge the numerous projectiles and autocast abilities that are aimed at them, they will find themselves falling quickly as they are not built to have the same tankiness or same sturdiness as their melee counterparts. And it is with this the five essentials of a D&D party or an MMO grouping that we find Autocast Test is wonderful, not only because of the roles that it provides, but in how it exploits those roles. Over on the video now, you should be seeing an indication as to what happens when you fight against a boss. Bosses have a menagerie of tricks up their sleeve, including dropping the armor of the tank, opening up a pool of lava that damages over time for all enemies that are inside of it, or just chucking rocks at any distant enemies that they happen to find. And that's just the first boss. That's without getting into the deeper catacombs of the of the location and finding the even more sinister bandit boss at the end. In addition to whatever other bosses Durbo may envision, this mod is constantly updating. But the one thing that it's nailed down is the cooperation. So grab a group of your friends, tread on into the dungeon, and find out if you can survive or die as a group.